As the new moon approaches, the nights are getting colder, darker, and longer. I love this time of year before the snow arrives, but I get to wake up in the dark. There's some sort of magic in the air in the early morning hours, a feeling of calm and peacefulness. There's a beautiful quote from Rumi, a Sufi poet, saying, The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. I feel very connected to the seasons these days. I love feeling the subtle changes of the world around me, each day feeling a bit different than the last. It's definitely my favorite time of year, but (laughs) I think I say that every season, so I guess it's all my favorite season. This morning when I woke up, I seriously felt like my body was dead. (laughs) But I am so grateful to be awake right now, experiencing this world. Man, I heard some weird animal noises when I was walking up here. They were so strange. It wasn't a fox. You know, foxes make that kind of weird noise. I don't know what it was. These days of fall are seriously like so 
beautiful. I can't explain how nice it's been to experience just like perfect weather. It feels like all year we were kind of like fighting with the seasons. Every season just felt really intense, like very cold winter, really late spring, like it didn't start getting warm till like July. And then the summer was super hot. And um, so yeah, these days have felt so good, just a little bit colder and I can't believe it's like October and I'm still wearing a dress. Well, almost October. <laughs> Should I try it? Yeah. Is it ripe? I think it is. I wanna try it. I think it's ripe now. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. It is so strange to me how I have just pounds of strawberries right now that are ripe. And it's almost October. I don't understand this. Fall strawberries. <laughs> it feels weird, I'm like harvesting pumpkin and strawberries at the same time. These early fall days have been so warm this year. It's been really beautiful to be able to appreciate these last days of sun because I know it'll be gone so soon. I definitely take the warmth for granted in the summer. I feel like we start to appreciate things so much more once we know they will be leaving us. Last week we visited this old town up in the mountains a couple hours from here. We stayed in this little cabin in the woods. It was so beautiful to experience some modern luxuries like a flushing toilet. And to be honest, I felt a little bit sad when we came home. I all of a sudden felt this longing for more convenience in my life. And I spent like a week sort of sad and wishing for a more easeful life but I came to this realization that as much as we can dream of what our perfect life would be by getting that it won't necessarily be the source of our happiness or fulfillment I can think back to when I lived in the city and all I wanted was to live up in the mountains in the middle of nowhere and honestly by doing that it didn't make me any more or less happy what matters more to me than a flushing toilet or a warm bath is to share my life with people I love and to do the things that make me feel passionate and to just be grateful with the things that I do have. Of course, it's nice to have goals, but for me, it's important to have awareness that by obtaining these goals, it's not necessarily going to make me all of a sudden happy and loving and fulfilled. I think that comes from inside of us and it's not dependent upon our material world. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How was your flight? Oh, horrible, you know. Long. <laughs> just long. I feel this energy and I'm just so alive. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be back in your presence. <laughs> These are the perfect logs for the length of this fireplace. They are, aren't they? And I measured. <laughs> for real? Yeah.
meant to wake up for sunrise. I think we are. This feeling. I know. Thanks so much. Amazing. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, the echo. <laughs> so we didn't sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really sleep at all. Yeah. <laughs> Hearing animal noises and I don't know, an itchy woman. <laughs> <laughs> I have high. <laughs> Tell me who high. knows what. <laughs> My toes were itching all night long. And then I heard some rummaging about a bucket moving, footsteps all about. I thought it was a human, but I was too lazy to attack or something. And then Isabel comes up without her contacts and hears scampering about. And I thought it was a bear, coyote, but it was just some sweet deer. It was just deer. That's how it always is. I think it's like this huge animal and then it's just the deer. So we just made it to the river. I'm on a mission to go into the water every day until the first snow. Um, so today we're going in. Yes. Are you excited? I am. I feel like I'm training <laughs> or something. I don't really know why you do this, but uh, <laughs> intense training. It has gotten really cold in this river the past couple weeks. It gets easier too though because I did this last year with Isabel and I've been able to stay in longer so Yeah you, you got good. under the water and you're swimming yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Putting this on someone else. <laughs> Let me try to do it at it's the like same I'm, time. It's like I'm painting you. Whoa. <laughs> it's, right? it's so cold. <laughs> You're a different woman now. Yeah, that one sister wives <laughs> helping each other with the chores. We had a really good day. Mm -hmm. We went swimming. Really? Mm -hmm. We loved our day. We made pie, we made jam. Mm -hmm. We did everything. Did yeah. yoga. Did yoga. How are you enjoying yoga? I'm liking it a lot. I feel stronger today. It takes a while. Yeah. Because at first it's just so uncomfortable to do certain poses. Yeah. Remember your first down dog? It was the worst thing ever. You're kind of like fighting yourself in your head because it doesn't feel right. Yeah, it feels awful. Mm -hmm. I remember the teacher was like, now we can rest in down dog. And I was <laughs> like, this isn't resting. The right alignment can make every pose really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Then you just need your breath. <laughs>